From the inlet section, the emulsion flows to the surge section. The major purpose of the surge section is to keep the treating section fluid packed. Fluid packed is a condition where the vessel is completely full of liquid with no gas on top of the liquid. Finally, the emulsion reaches the treating section. Here, flow spreaders ensure an even distribution of emulsion throughout the treating section. From the spreader, the emulsion rises upward towards the high voltage alternating current electrical grids. Electrostatic treating begins below the lower grid and is completed between the upper and lower grids where the water droplets combine or coalesce and settle out. As the heated emulsion rises through the electrostatic field, water droplets are given an electrical charge which elongates and polarizes them. The alternating current causes the water droplets to rapidly move around and collide into each other with enough force to break the film surrounding each droplet. The water droplets combine into larger drops and settle to the bottom of the treating section for removal through the treated water outlet. The oil, which has separated from the water, then rises to the top of the treating section. There, a clean oil collection header skims off the clean oil for removal from the treater. Now that we've seen how the electrostatic treater functions overall, there are some areas that need to be discussed in more detail regarding operation. These are the electrical system, fluid level, operating temperature, and operating pressure. Now the electrical system of an electrostatic treater consists of two electrical grids and a step-up transformer. The two grids are suspended one above the other in the treating section. The upper grid is grounded to the vessel shell and is adjustable so that current can be regulated to meet varying requirements. The lower grid is not grounded and receives the output from the transformer. The transformer is the heart of the electrical system. A circuit breaker located between the power source and the transformer protects the transformer from electrical power failures. A fused disconnect at the power source is recommended for maximum safety. Fluid levels throughout the treater are maintained by dump valves and level controllers. The oil level in the treating section is maintained by the oil dump valve, which is operated by a float in the surge section. When the emulsion rises above a preset level in the surge section, the float rises with the emulsion and causes the dump valve to open, enabling oil to leave the vessel. When the emulsion returns to the preset level, the dump valve closes and oil accumulates in the treating section. This always keeps the treating section fluid packed. Free water and treated water levels in the treater are maintained by water dump valves. Like the oil dump valve, water dump valves open to remove water when the interfaces rise above preset levels and close when the interfaces return to the preset levels. Both water dump valves operate by means of interface level controllers, which use gas or compressed air to open and close the dump valves. The controller opens or closes the valve by diverting gas or compressed air to the diaphragm of the dump valve. The gas or compressed air pressure offsets the spring tension holding the diaphragm in the closed position. This lifts the diaphragm and water flows through the dump valve. 